Yo, 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 this your boy, the real McCoy coming at you, man. Talking about football for all my football fans out there, man. Um, we had a great wild card weekend in NFL football. Some good games, great games, man. After the divisional round coming up, um, I've been trying to do some prediction videos, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I've been try just like you guys, I've been trying to wait for the injury report, you know what I mean? Uh, especially with the Steelers, man. They're, they're banged up offensively. Uh, D'Angelo Williams, the running back. I mean, they're already out. No Le Le'Veon Bell. He's already out. He made some playoffs last year. D'Angelo Williams, the, the high, high ankle sprain. He didn't play wild card weekend against the Bengals. I'm hearing that it's unlikely he's going to play. Maybe. But unlikely he's going to play. Antonio Brown, he, he took the big hit from Vontaze Burfitt. The on the, uh, the Bengals linebacker who suspended for three games, their first three games of next year. Um, so Antonio AB, Antonio Brown, he's, he's got to go through concussion protocol. Vontez Burfitt is the one who sat Big Ben on his shoulder. I'm hearing a sprained AC joint, basically a separated shoulder for Big Ben. You know, if Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and D'Angelo Williams, if those three guys don't play against the Broncos then there's no need to do a prediction video for that game because the Steelers have no chance. <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? They're not going to beat the Broncos without those three players. You know, so I've been trying, I've been trying to, to hold on because the, the game starts Saturday. So at the latest, it'll be Friday evening, something like Friday night. Uh, if I don't hear anything differently, I'll just post it expecting at least for Big Ben and Antonio Brown to play. D'Angelo Williams, not sure. Um, you know, Beast Mode, Marshawn Lynch with the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, he was, I mean, um, Pete Carroll was saying he's going to play, he's going to play. And right before the plane leaves, he says he can't go. This week, don't know, you know what I mean, with, with him and his, you know, his ab ab abdominal tear, things like that. So I've been trying, I've, I heard, I'm hearing Julian Edelman, the Patriots receiver, he's going to go. Uh, I think Chandler Jones, the linebacker here, he's going to give it a go. So I've been trying to hold on for as long as I can to see, you know what I mean, the injuries and, and, and things like that. Jeremy Macklin, wide receiver from the Chiefs, he may not be able to play, you know what I mean? So I was trying to wait, you know what I mean, uh, you know, trying to see who's going to play. Because this, you know, this, this effect, you know what I mean, injuries is part of the game, you know. But especially with the Steelers, man, they're, they're going to come into that game so banged up, you know. And, that, and if, if Big Ben play, can he throw the ball Farther than 25 yards, 20 yards, you know what I mean? If, if this Broncos, who already have a good defense, if they have, they can just shrink the field now because Big Ben can't scratch the field, that's that's huge. No running game, you know what I mean? The, the two, uh, two fun, two fun and all those guys, uh, they, they play solid out coming on the, as far as running the ball against the Bengals, but, you know, if you got second, you've got third, fourth string running back and Big Ben can't throw the ball 20, 25 yards, man, the Broncos can just shrink the field, you know. But um, so that's why I've been waiting on that, trying to say Friday is the, is the absolute latest. Uh, all the NFL news that you guys, everybody's hearing now is, you know, the St. Louis Rams, they're the L.A. Rams. <laughs> well, Inglewood, I think they're going to what, Inglewood, and the stadium won't actually be ready in L.A. until, what, 2019. So it's going to be a few years, but I guess officially the L.A. Rams. So uh, they were once there in the 80s, you know, back when they had Eric Dickerson and all these those guys. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the relocation. I know St. Louis, I know St. Um, St. Louis mayor, he wasn't happy. Um, but he said uh, NFL ignored a lot of the proposals they had set up. But they were going to, somebody was going to move anyway. We, I kind of figured it was going to be the Rams. So it, it wasn't like one of those things that kind of, because uh, the last few years, the NFL has wanted a team in L.A. So it, it was it was something that we knew was coming. Um, I, me personally, I don't think anything St. Louis could have done was going to keep. And I mean, they they were moving. <laughs> I know it sucks for St. Louis. I have a lot of respect for St. Louis, especially the St. Louis Cardinals. You know, the baseball. And I, I appreciate their fans because if you're coming in, say in the Cardinals, and you're an opposing pitcher, and you've got a perfect game going, you know they'll they'll respect that and they'll, they'll cheer that on. So I have a lot of respect for St. Louis fans. Um, I'm fortunate to see that fan base lose a, lose a franchise. But uh, but the NFL wanted a team in L.A. It's just more money. That's all it is. It's just money. It makes more money in L.A. Uh, the Raiders, they opted out. I think the Raiders are trying to build a new stadium. But 
Mark Davis, the owner, don't know where. Is he gonna are they gonna stay in Oakland? Are they gonna they they backed out of the deal with uh the Chargers for a stadium, I think Carson, something like that. So I don't know. The Chargers, they're kind of in limbo right now. Are they gonna go to LA and share a stadium with the Rams? I don't know. But anyway, man, this video here, man, so I've been trying to wait for the injury reports before I talk about the divisional round and all. So the Friday will be the absolute latest. Trying to figure out who's going to play and who's going to not, especially for the Steelers, you know what I mean? It's Big Ben, no Antonio Brown, no D'Angelo Williams. It's a wrap in that game. It's a wrap. Um, a lot of you guys like the simulation game. That was a request for me to do. That's why I did it. Um, you know, it's, it got, you know, um, the views were okay, you know what I mean? For my channel, at least. Uh, I, I, I keep that going for the divisional round and all the way through the Super Bowl. As far as simulation on, on Madden 16 on uh, PS4, uh, I try to keep it. I look up the weather and who's injured to try and keep it. The, you know, whoever the, who might who won't be active on the roster, I take them off the roster on Madden. So I'm trying to keep it, you know, as real as possible. Things like that. But um, I'm, I'm gonna keep that going. So that that was a request for me to do. I uh, keep that going. Uh, I've been thinking about doing a sports podcast. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys what you guys think about that in the uh in the comment section things like that but but that's what I got going on man and um yeah so I'm Friday is absolute late I may go ahead and just do it expecting all those guys to play you know anyway let me know what you guys think man like subscribe leave a comment that that's why the, the prediction video hasn't come out yet for the division around the playoffs things like that I mean, I'm trying to wait as long as I can, you know what I mean? But Friday will be the absolute latest because the, the, the games begin, you know, Saturday at, you know, what, 4.15, 4.30, kickoff, things like that. But, anyway, that's what's going on, man. I'm a football fan, so you guys let me know, you know what I mean, um, things like that about the podcast, if, uh, what you guys think about that. Just a, a thought. I thought about maybe doing that, a sports podcast. I'm going to keep the match simulations going, things like that, so... Let me know what you guys think, man. All my football fans, and uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And this is your boy, The Real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.